Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to record retention in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. There are a couple things that you need to make sure that you have before you're able to bill a customer with a retention item. First of all, you need to go to your chart of accounts and make sure that you have a retention account. I have created a retention account under other current assets. So let me show you how to do that. If you create new, you want to select other current assets. Then the detail type is retainage. And you can leave the description there or call it retention or retention receivables, whichever you like. But the point of this account is to keep track of your retention. So let's close this because I already have one. The second thing that you need to make sure that you have is under products and services, have an item called retention. And I created this item um, called retention. And what I did is I put that account I created under income account. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put it on the invoice and we're going to take a look at the register for that account. So let's go to invoices. I'm going to create a new invoice and let's just select any customer here. Under products and services, I can select um, what I'm going, I have retention, but I need to select what I'm going to bill the client for. So let's just say concrete and I'm going to say $5,000 and my retention for this project, the client wants to take 10%. So that would be 500. I'm going to put negative 500 because I'm deducting that I'm deducting the retention from the total amount billed. And we're going to see how this looks in the register. So the total invoice amount is 4,500. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go into the register and take a look at that. And as you can see, even though we put a negative amount, a negative 500, this was an increase to our asset account. And that's what we want. We want to keep track of the retention per customer. And we can see that um, this 500 increased. Now let's say once the client pays us for the retention, we can do a bank deposit and receive that payment. Um, because remember, it's not an actual bill. So we're going to apply the check for the retention only into that account. He, the customer would have paid you the 4,500 and then you would have applied the payment to the invoice. But in this case, we're just doing it straight to the account because we're getting paid just for the retention. Then we're going to take a look at the register once more to see what it looks like. And here we go. I created the invoice and then later on, I put tomorrow's date, but later on it was decreased and the balance for this account is currently zero. So this is what I wanted to show you to how to track retention, how to build retention in QuickBooks Online. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-tos, tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks and I will see you on the next one.